What's going down, people? What's going down? Uh, Tuesday. Glorious Tuesday. Um, the fuckery continues, market-wise. <laughs> um, Derek commented on uh, one of my YouTube videos, and he said, Hey, I think you're being shadow banned. I said, that's what happens when you're putting out information ahead of the curve. So, <laughs> it's what it is. You can't do shit about it. But neither here nor there. Um, I am glad uh, y'all had a glorious weekend for those of y'all that um, I've had that interaction with. Um, Jimmy, the fucking bus continues. So hopefully y'all are getting your shares in a timely order Wednesday, Thursday. And uh, we'll see um, how this starts to shake out. Uh, Sundial, we saw the con consolidation. Um, I got my shares this morning. Um, what I didn't like was the 70% dump. So, <laughs> to avoid this channel getting clipped, um, you have to understand that some of these bigger plays that were uh, oversold and Sundial being bigger than all of them, probably bigger than GME and Sundial and everything else put together, uh, they had to manage that appropriately and the consolidation with the shares um it's what it is i hold sundial i don't hold gme i dumped my my gme way back <laughs> i saw the writing on the wall with that when i was like yep they're gonna get fucked it's just a matter of time <laughs> way back way back a year and a half ago um the whole sundial deal i want to see that bitch run i want to see that bitch run seven ten fifteen dollars but i'm not holding my breath um, like I commented on a tweet earlier, I have my position. I'm not liquidating or closing that position, nor am I adding to it. So I'm going to write it out. If it ends up a loss, it ends up a loss. I can write that off. I've heard um, Bill say that numerous times. You got to have some losses every now and then to cover up uh, some of those those tax liabilities and uh, assets that you've, uh, you've sold and gained. So... With that being said, just be patient, guys. Just be patient while this, this works it all out. There's so much pressure on the other side with the economy going the way that it is, them trying to redefine what a recession is like. <laughs> recession was like six months ago. Like We're coming up on like recession into fucking all-out economic collapse, and it's not just the U.S. <laughs> it's worldwide. So banks are fucking stuck. Institutions are fucking stuck. Um, they're still trying to figure a way out of this, but there's there's no way out of it. They're stuck. They're they're stuck in a well, <laughs> and there's no way to climb out. There ain't nobody coming to rescue them. Uh, the margin calls on Friday. I've gotten um, some text messages. I've gotten some direct messages, uh, stuff like that. What I will tell you is the the margin calls were legit. Uh, now the management is figuring out figuring out how. Uh, to get the most bang for their buck from all of their assets, how they're going to do that in the process that comes with it. It's not like all these other YouTubers and people be telling you, oh, the margin call, they automatically sell everything everybody's got. It doesn't work like that. May it end up in a fire sale? Yeah. But it's not immediate. There's not a computer system selling fucking office chairs and computers for the organization that got margin called. That's not how it fucking goes down. Uh, margin called means they need to come up with the assets or as much assets as they can towards what... <laughs> They're short in a certain amount of time. And I, we don't know the time window that um, the people that were margin called were given, so we're not going to speculate on it. But know that that's out there. So if we start seeing a decline in certain positions slowly over the next uh, 7 to 10 trading days, that, that's probably going to be whoever got margin called selling off some of their long positions in order to create the capital to, uh, to cover uh, that call. Um, on the other note with uh, the stuff with Knott's Berry Farm, our voices are being heard. Your voices are being heard. Everyone's like, oh, the class action lawsuit should sue them. Okay, cool, got it. Um, not everything in life is solved with a lawsuit. Um, and I didn't wanna type this out 25 different times for all the emails and comments. So what I'll say is a lawsuit doesn't solve anything. All it does is put that location out of business. It will put the Cedar Fair Entertainment, um, 
parent company out of business, they'll just shut the park down, close it off, sell everything off, ship all those rides, take them apart, ship them all to other locations, and that, that location will be a fucking ghost town for real uh, forever and a day. So what we have done, making your guys' voices heard with all of your emails you guys sent, um, all the comments that you put up, your personal experiences, your support of them making changes, they were heard. They were heard. We don't need lawsuits that puts places out of business. We want change. We want change that signifies a safe place for us to take our families. Um, I've got viewers on here that are city council members running for city council, uh, mayor. You guys, you guys are doing a good job. Keep up the good work. Keep up the pressure. They've done a lot of shit uh, moving into what they need to do to fix that environment to be able to keep bringing that revenue in for not only the park but for the city and the taxpayers be able to uh, keep certain programs in that community afloat and that's what we want to do we don't want to take that tax base away from them because that tax base ultimately needs money that's generated through that business to maintain you know different programs for troubled youth and uh, uh, other stuff within that community that um, would not be funded otherwise um, they extended their chaperone policy apparently this last weekend it was um, super smooth and quiet from numerous individuals that went without kids because they wanted to see you know what you see and what they tell you is two different truths um, so it was pretty quiet from uh, what all the accounts that I got in which uh, that tells me that um, some of the new steps they put into place are, are, are making a difference. And they've also extended the chaperone policy today because they heard you guys' voice like, oh, good, they won't go on Friday and Saturday, but they'll go the rest of the week, the rest of the week and ruin it. So they've extended it to Sunday, and then they've also put out publicly that they will open it up to additional days, which means for all you turds out there that are watching like, ah, this dude's a fucking dirtbag. Oh, we're we're going to get him. We're going to do what we want. Hey, check this out, bro. The more you guys fuck up, the more days they close down. So you want to run the risk of going to jail. You want to run the risk of ruining your future. You want to run the risk of, you know, serious bodily, bodily injury or death because somebody there wants to do something bad to you. Knock yourself out. But you're at this window in time there where they're not taking any bullshit. And there's people there that are going to handle you all. And then you're going to mess it up forever and always um, for uh, any future use you might want to have because they'll extend the chaperone policy and then they'll take some more drastic measures, which obviously we don't want them to take, but may be needed. So without that, uh, without further ado, uh, I appreciate you guys' emails, your messages, so on and so forth. You guys are amazing. Um, I can't think of a better group of people to be surrounded by. You guys are all family. And I was talking to Jeff about this the other day through direct message. And he was real surprised when, you know, you guys are family. We truly look at you guys like family when we try to protect y'all. Uh, we want you, we want the best for you and, and yours. And we want to see you guys flourish in everything that you do. Be successful in all things. We want to see you guys make as much money as you need to be able to take care of you and your families um, so that we can make the community better. Obviously, when we come out every day, you guys included, we're striving to make the community better. It's little pieces. It's not big pieces. It's not freaking talking heads like me or politicians that are going to make the communities uh, safer and better. It's going to be people like you that get up and work 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 hours a day doing what you do. Take a little time every day to try to make something better in your community. It's the little things that matter. Little things add up to big things and changes are made voices are heard remember what ideologies and morals you were brought up on stand firm by those and let's make the world a better place one little thing at a time till next time mr el spaghetti signing off